Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench. I'm here today to give you a very, very cool core exercise. And I'm doing it because it'll actually help your hips. Help your hips? How can that be? Well, our good buddy Eric Wong and his product, Hip Flexibility Solution, alludes to this. And I couldn't agree with him more. The stronger you are through your core, through your abdomen, abdomen, and I'm not talking the superficial stuff, I'm talking you have layers of muscle in your abdominal wall. And those layers only get stronger when you're doing big complex movements and core specific exercise, namely planking things. Planking exercises put your body into a very intense contraction and it, it's unlike a lot of the, you know, the, the repetitive flexion that most of us have been doing for years and years and years to get the abs, to get the six pack. That doesn't typically do it for us. It really comes down to what you're eating and the big lifts. I mean, if you're eating really clean and doing nothing but full chain movements, squats, deadlifts, bench press, bent over rows, you're going to be able to get the body that you've always wanted realistically. But most of us can't ever eat that clean. Uh, it's just not in the cards. So what do we do? Well, besides doing the big lifts and trying to eat as well as we can, we do really good core specific exercises that work and they help us stay stronger through our hips and help us to uh, almost remove the imbalances that we, that we create for ourselves with the repetitive flexion and stuff like that. So what you're going to find, your traditional planking movement looks something like this, right? My body is really straight, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm squeezing my quads, my body is stiff as a board. Now, yes, that works and that would be a recommendation for like maybe the first exercise. Now once you start to get more advanced, you can start doing some stuff that taxes you a little bit more and demands more out of your body. So start doing some, some uh, planks where you actually start to remove body parts from the ground. So you're, you're starting to remove your base of support. So now I'm going from having four contacts on the ground to just two. So if I got two forearms and two feet, I'm going to remove one forearm and remove the opposing foot. Now, I'm working much harder to maintain my plank. Let's switch. Okay, so you get the idea. Once you start to eliminate the contacts on the floor, you're increasing the intensity of the contraction through your core. That's the whole point. So it does take time. I, I, I can promise you that. You gotta get good at doing traditional planks first. When you get good at that, start by picking up a single leg or a single arm. When you start to get good at that, start to pick up two. So now you just have a left forearm and a right toe on the ground still maintaining perfect plank. Do that 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time and switch and then do that for multiple sets. That will not alleviate all the issues maybe that you're dealing with and imbalances through your body, namely your hips, but it will certainly help because what it's doing is it's building up all those deeper layers of muscle tissue, making your whole body extremely strong and making you strong as a unit instead of a, a lot of you know, body parts that are, that are specifically strong, which usually happens with a lot of isolation lifting. So give this one a try. It's a very effective exercise. I love doing stuff like that because it demands so much more and you get so much more out of it, so much more benefit from doing stuff like that than doing all the crunches and the sit-ups all the time. So thanks to our good friend Eric Wong and uh, Hip Flexibility Solution, it's an amazing product and a lot of great information in there. Here at Critical Bench, Coach Chris loves you, cares about you, and I want you to be the strongest person that you can be, and I want you to feel good at the same time. So give this one a try. I think you'll like it. Leave a comment below, like this video, and I'll see you again really soon.